People in China highly value education. Many are looking at weekend courses to supplement their careers or to help them find new opportunities. Courses are being offered for improving business acumen and learning new skills. But some are attending the courses with ulterior motives, and the schools are playing to them. Tian Pu Jun was a young aspiring actress with just a few small roles in Chinese TV dramas. But she found overnight fame while taking courses at the Chiang Kong Graduate School of Business. It's a very high-ranking business school packed with superstar Chinese alumni. The actress happened to meet the wealthy classmate of her dreams. She started a relationship with Wang Shi, her classmate and the CEO of the biggest residential real estate company in China, Van Ke. A photo of the two of them sitting together on a plane became headline news. This real estate tycoon is 61 years old, which is 30 years older than the actress. It's not news that old rich men can find younger girlfriends, especially if the old men are willing to help out their girlfriends better their career prospects. It's also not news that people are expected to network in business schools, but this high-profile case got people thinking about how to improve their own networks. The power of networks made in business school isn't just about finding a rich lover. A couple of classmates in Cheung Kong's MBA program made a multi-million dollar deal that saved one of their companies. Neil Gun Sheng is the president of Meng Neo Dairy, which is one of the largest dairy companies in China. Meng Neo lost a lot of value during the 2008 financial crisis. A call for investment gave Leo Tuanjie, the president of Lenovo, a chance to support his classmate. He raised $330 million in 48 hours and kept Meng Neo from being acquired. Cheung Kong Graduate School of Business and China Europe International Business School are well-known high-end training schools. These two schools are top business schools, which have MBA, EMBA, and executive education programs. The students are mostly renowned entrepreneurs, high-ranking officials, and other super-rich people. Both of them say that they're nonprofit organizations, but the annual tuition fees have increased rapidly in recent years. Taking Cheung Kong School as an example, in 2007, completing a two-year EMBA course cost the student nearly $56,000. And this year, the tuition fees have increased to nearly $120,000. With so many high-profile figures attending the programs, other schools in China have started copying the idea. They haven't had nearly the same success or talent, but there's still a lot of money in the industry. According to the Enterprise Observer, a financial weekly newspaper in China, the market for training courses targeting entrepreneurs and businessmen has rapidly grown in recent years. Each year, nearly 20 billion yuan, or around 3.3 billion U.S. dollars, are involved in this market. In the whole country, at least 1,000 training organizations have opened up. One of the most effective ways to get students is to affiliate the program with a famous university. For instance, Tsinghua University, Peking University, and Shanghai Jiao Tong University are all having entrepreneur and manager training courses. Most of these courses don't count as credits for diplomas. They're really just weekend courses made to supplement the student's work. The shortest program only lasts for under a month. Some longer programs take students around one year to complete. But many are less than enthused that there aren't many classmates with people from the newspapers. Don't go away, because up next we'll continue to look at weekend business schools. Stay tuned.